Hi everyone, in this video we'll take a quick look at uh, how you can test the Cortana integration with uh, Microsoft Power BI. Now, the announcement itself for the Cortana integration was made at the back end of uh, 2015. Uh, looks very promising, uh, so you can see some examples of some screenshots within Windows 10. If um, you type in a search query, it, it uses uh, Cortana to connect with Microsoft Power BI data sets and uh, gives you an in-context, um, kind of like a visualization to show uh, the results of that query. So all in all, it looks like a very powerful and compelling solution. Um, now, the minimum set of requirements that you have is uh, a Windows 10 machine and um, Power BI um, uh, that you have to be logged into the account um, through your Power BI and Windows credentials. Um, so um, one of the challenges that poses is uh, what if you don't have Windows 10 and you are trying to develop for a solution like this or just the fact that it's uh, in an early preview so there seems to be some nagging bugs. Um, so one of the ways around it is uh, to actually use one of the testing functionality that you have uh, with uh, Cortana within the Power BI web application. Uh, so just to wire things up if you will, uh, so here I am within Power BI and uh, the very basic setup you need to do is uh, any of your data sets that you want to enable for uh, Cortana integration, uh, click on uh, the settings and uh, you should find a section here, Cortana, and click on enable. By default it's not enabled, so click on enable and hit apply. Now it might take maybe a few minutes before the changes uh, become effective. Um, so um, at a very basic level, so if you go to say one of the dashboards, uh, and um, I've actually enabled Cortana for two data sets here. So these are some sample data sets that Microsoft provides. So that's a retail analytics sample and the sales and marketing sample. So I've enabled Cortana for both. Um, so now as an example if I go to uh, sales and marketing and uh, type in a question here um, so let's just say for example I'm looking for uh, sales by um, total sales say for example or sales by um, year for instance so it plots a nice graph so this is a, a familiar Q&A that Power BI always had uh, now um, an example um, of how you can test uh, with uh, Cortana directly in the browser. Uh, so again, if you don't have Windows 10, like in this particular instance of uh, one of the machines I'm working on, or if you wanted to test the functionality really quickly um, and not be bogged down by any of the snags that you have with uh, the Windows 10 integration with Cortana, uh, you can go to this URL here. So that's uh, the standard Power BI URL with uh, Cortana and test. And you can type in the same keyword here. So sales by year for example uh, and uh, you can see that it's actually pulled that uh, from uh, the couple of uh, different data sets that we have so we have sales both in the sales and marketing as well as the retail analytics uh, so click on sales per year here and uh, you should pretty much be able to see from within this view if you will uh, how you can uh, or, or the end results that uh, your end users would see if they try to type this uh, query directly from Windows 10 and uh, using Cortana. Uh, so again, we can change that, say, um, instead of by year, by region, for example. Um, so again, it, it gives you uh, pretty much the same view as uh, Q&A, if you will. But uh, as you can imagine, it's much more convenient for end users to um, type it directly in a Windows search. Um, additionally, uh, the other thing you want to keep in mind, particularly when you're building reports, uh, is uh, at the point in time when you're creating the reports uh, so that it's optimized and viewable within uh, the Cortana uh, results set. So, like say for example, uh, these kind of like views, if you will, of an entire report, if you want to show that within Cortana. Uh, you can uh, uh, you'll need to ensure that uh, the page size so if you uh, if this is an example of a report um, you'll want to ensure that the page size is uh, set to Cortana so that it optimizes uh, that layout uh, so all in all um, very interesting very promising uh, in terms of how uh, insights can be made accessible in a very simple natural language query or even voice uh, for that matter in the future 
and uh, how insights from the organization can be surfaced uh, uh, within Windows without the user directly having to uh, log into a Power BI dashboard. Uh, so that was a quick and simple test. Um, thanks everyone for watching.